Hi everybody, it's me again. Today I'll be doing a demonstration of my 2000 volt transformer. This transformer is a takeout from a microwave oven. It steps up the 120 volts from the mains to about 2000 volts. I can't actually measure that because I don't have a voltmeter that could go that high, but um, judging by the amount of windings I counted across and I did a bunch of math and it comes out to about 2000 volts, plus some research I did on the internet shows that I'm pretty much right. Um, so I can't tell you an exact voltage, but uh, at 2,000 volts, it, it would supply about half an amp of current based on the primary current, which I can measure. So it is a pretty hefty transformer. It will. It is very dangerous. Uh, I do not recommend what I'm about to try at home, but uh, that's why I'm making this video, so you can just watch me do it, right? <laughs> watch me kill myself. Anyway, um, so I have the primary wired up to the mains. And I've noticed that binder clips work really, they work really well for holding wires onto those little like blade connectors. Um, this is actually pretty so pretty solid of a connection. I wouldn't recommend doing this, but um, because I don't have alligator clips, those work just fine. They're also conductive, so it sort of works just to make sure they don't touch each other. And then of course, the way this is wired, um, the safety ground goes to the case of the transformer. And if you look. You'll notice this is the high voltage lead right here. It comes off the primary or the secondary, uh, and the other side of the secondary is tied right to the case of the transformer, right to the big core. And the reason this is uh, is because you'll notice that the inside of the coil is tied to the case, whereas the outside of the coil has the high voltage lead coming right off of it. Reason for this is because this case is grounded, and the difference in voltage between the inner windings in the case is a lot less than the outer windings in the case. So, for instance, between this little enameled wire and the case, there would be about 2,000 volts, which is why they have this big, thick piece of plastic here. But the inside between here, the inner windings in the case, is a lot less because the first turn is only at, like, 1 volt. These are about 1 volt per turn, as I've mentioned in a previous video, so it may only see, between, you know, 50 volts between here and the inner windings, which is a, a neat design, but it requires some funky kind of wiring. So basically, I have uh, safety ground going to the case, hot and neutral going to uh, the primary coil and then of course the case, this little lead to I'm just gonna, oh I have this can right here which is what I'm gonna strike an arc uh, between this and this screw over here uh, which is attached to this fancy mechanism called a stick which is basically anything non-conductive and rather long, in fact this is just a shim but yeah I do not recommend trying this at home because this is basically yeah, it, it, you do not want to get between these two electrodes, and no matter what you touch on this thing, I mean, it's just, it's very dangerous, so don't do it. Anyway, so I'm going to turn the power on, you can hear her humming, and, um, strike some arcs. Yeah, as you can see, it's very hot and very bright. And if I get my welding mask from across the lab and put it over my camera, I've never tried this, but I um, might be able to see the arc a lot better. Get my finger out of the way. Okay, let's try it this way. Oops. Oh, yeah. Look at that glare. Oh yeah, that's about half an amp at two kilovolts being unleashed on a can and a screw. Fun to play with. Um, actual uses of this transformer might be a Tesla coil in the future if I can find multiple transformers because the voltage will need to be stepped up a little bit further. Um, and also experiments with like x-rays and stuff once I get uh, some tubes, some vacuum tubes, things like that. And it's a good base to start off with as a high current, high voltage supply uh, to drive things like a uh, uh, Crowncroft Walton voltage multiplier, that sort of thing. And so, future projects, none are in the pro in progress right now, but yeah, hopefully I'll eventually get around to those. So yeah, that's my 2 kilovolt transformer. Subscribe, rate, comment. Thanks for watching.